All right, well, just commentate on what's going on. This is a very serious tournament. This game right here is for $600, so just don't mess it up, okay? okay. Just click through people's names. Uh, read the chat right there. Twitch Twitch streaming one-on-one. You'll probably do it better Look, than me. I have I'm, to cover I'm this. I don't work here anymore. Streamer, but not really. Hey, guys, this month I'm giving away a PlayStation 4. All you have to do is comment on this video to enter, but be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I post a video because to pick the winner, I'll be randomly selecting one comment from each video I post throughout the month, then selecting one of those people at random to win the console. So the more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Good luck. Also, my good friend Excandrel is giving away a Nintendo Switch this month, so be sure to head over to his channel for more details on that. Go ahead, spam spam chat now if you guys would like. It's it's okay. It looks cooler on YouTube and and then YouTube like comments and they're like, yo, what's up, Twitch chat? And then like nobody ever reads reads that. I mean, I read the comments, but you guys don't because it's not like I pull up YouTube videos on Twitch. So I mean, it's kind of like a toss up, right? You guys can talk to them and then they try to talk to you, but then they don't. So one of the perks of being on Twitch, by the way, one of the perks. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here with the Friday Frenzy Tournament sponsored by Google. And today we are giving away $600 or 8.5 million Indonesia rupiah. This is the highest paying auto chess mobile tournament that happens every single week, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, right here on twitch.tv slash Claytano. Um, the only thing you guys have to do to enter is have a level 2 account on the US slash Canada server and then also win at the mini games that we played beforehand that start at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and that's it. Now we've played two preliminary games already to get us to this point. We had three winners from the first game which were Tothpick, Wonton, and Vince in that order. Vince, of course, a returning player from another tournament. But also, he, he lost, but he got back into this one because he won at the live game show. Crazy Twitch, thanks for the 150 bits as well. Let's go. Appreciate the hype, bro. Uh, but yeah, Tothbit got first, Wonton got second, Vince got third. Those people now are in the final game, which is about to start right now. We also are joined by the game two, top three, which are Monty, actually, got top one. We have Azu, got top two. And then we have Jerome, who got third. They, those six are now joined by last week's tournament winner, Eclipse, who won $300, of course, sponsored by Google as well. And he has got his free pass into the final game. Now, I do want to mention, if Drodo ever comes out with a spectator mode, what will happen is that the first place winner from last week will not get a free pass into the final game. They'll get a free pass into the preliminary game, so they'll have to kind of fight it out that way. And then we'll just go to the top four from each of the prelims to fight it out uh, so we can get more people involved in the tournament. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start this bad boy up while I explain the, uh, the payouts. And speaking about payouts, Madza just gifted... 500 bits or cheered 500 bits and has been gifting subs like crazy. Thank you so much for all the support, bro. I appreciate that. Uh, and here we go. Let's go. So to explain the payouts, guys, uh, third place is going to receive $100 sent to their PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, you can either make one or I can send it to you a different way, Venmo. Uh, Western Union, that type of thing I've done before as well in the past. But uh, I could, yeah, I could, I can, we, we could figure something out. You'll get the money somehow, but you'll get paid out after I get paid out from Google. So it might take, you know, some time. So just be patient with that. Now, second place is going to get $200. And then first place is going to get $300 plus that pass into next week's tournament as well, by the way. No problem, I love your content. Thank you so much, man. So I appreciate it, dude. Uh, just, I mean, the bits, the subs, it just means that you care, and I appreciate it. Okay. All right, guys, so we're playing for $600. Like I said, playing for a lot of money here. So let's see, let's see how, uh, let's see how people are doing. Now, Monty won with a Beast Warrior comp. Let's, let's call it a human, 
a human marine comp last game. And Tothpick won his game with a Night Dragon comp. So there's a, a couple comps that we can look out for. Maybe another Night Dragon game from Tothpick. Maybe another Beast Warrior game from Monty. Uh, but these, the preliminary games are a lot more aggressive because they're just trying to get top three. That's all that matters. Now, this game, of course, top three guarantees you 100 bucks. But if you get top one, you get 300 bucks and you get to play for another uh, another game that could give you a lot more uh, more money the next week. What are you doing here? My yeah? Good luck. Oh, we're in the middle of um, Friday Fendi. Twice. Hello, welcome. Hi. Hi. You wanna say hi? Come, 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 come. This is, uh, this is wife Tano, everybody. Look, look at the camera. Why is it over there? Because it's over there. Don't look at the, don't look at yourself. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. I'm looking at the camera. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> She's always trolling in chat, guys. She's the biggest troll. She's even more troll than. Why does she look normal? What am I supposed to look like? I've, I've explained what you look like to people and... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you didn't put the trash out. Oh, did we miss it? No. Oh, damn. Is that why you came home early? Mm -hmm. Check up on me? Mm -hmm. Is that what happened? Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Yikes. You guys always remind me that it's tr trash day. I had hope. Um, I actually did text you the first thing this morning. Oh, oops. I was I was working, you know. I was working. All right. Wow, twenty dollars, dude. Madza, thank you so much for the twenty bucks. Appreciate it. Is that, that what happens when I come on. There, that'll go straight to Waitano for missing the trash. Um, you can check your PayPal account right there. How do we play Band of Brother? I don't think it's out yet. Yeah, it's Take the Trash Day. <laughs> Does wife Tano know that you play video games for a living? <laughs> uh, I hope so. You just reminded me it's Trash Day for me too. See, Acorn? See, this happens. I think we missed it. No, it's... no, it's only 2.30. They don't, they don't come till like later. Go check other people's trash can. Do you want to run the stream while I go check the trash can? Sure. Oh. I'm not looking at other people's trash cans. All right. Well, just commentate on what's going on. This is a very serious tournament. This game right here is for six hundred dollars. So, just don't mess it up, okay? Okay. Just click through people's names. Uh, read the chat right there. Twitch, Twitch streaming one on one. You'll probably do it better. Look, than me, I have to I'm cover this. I don't work here streamer, anymore. Professional but not really. All right. <clears throat> so, hello. Everybody, let me just prep myself here. Um, so, God. this is hard. Oh, God. The last one standing should I quit? The true should I just hit quit? I should just hit quit, huh? Do I work at a hospital? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Press quit. I rock. Let's roll. Mm -hmm. I think, okay. I think he's almost back. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Pride is more toxic than venom. I don't do a dance for subs. No sub dance. No sub dance from me. Babe, no, where are you going? I have to pee. Oh my god. I have to take a break. He's taking a break. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. Wrong place. Wrong time. Smell 
just like dead. I am not a nurse or a doctor. Or is it just me? Sorry. I'm a sonographer. I scan high risk pregnant women. I scan their babies. Uh, do I am I supposed to do something here? <laughs> I don't know who Monty is. Uh You thought I was a cop? You can't hold a candle you sc I scan. Scan. Ultrasound. <laughs> Where's Fat Cat? Oh, here's Clay. I'm Fat Cat. No, Fat Cat? Um, How do you read these? They're so quick. Um, you just get the ones you can Why see. did I marry Clay? I don't know. <laughs> Why wouldn't she marry me? Look at this. Look at all this. Oh, you do pediatric echo? I do fetal echoes. Look, there's another snog right there. <laughs> oh, dirty Chinese restaurant? Oh yeah, I've been there before. No. <laughs> he's, he's, I think. X-ray tech. Yes. Whoa, lots of people in healthcare. Does she know your subscriber dance? Come on, of course. Okay, ready for it? Go. Clay was just telling us how he proposed to you yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that. Did you? Yeah, I did that. Aww. I thought I told him to take you out to a nice Aww. restaurant. No, you didn't. Stop. <laughs> took you out to a nice restaurant? Got down on one knee? Uh, no. At the table? <laughs> I didn't. What are you talking about? They look sick of living. Did you really tell them that? Let's <laughs> that. Did you really tell them that? No. You tell them the real story. <laughs> yeah, I told them the real story. Dumb. I'm just kidding. Get out of the chair. No. <laughs> I'm answering questions. <laughs> no. Okay. We got 200 bits. Love in the air. And then Mazakus. Am I supposed to dance? Yeah. Well, you I don't know that. how to do it. Boom. You did. You did it better than a combo. Do the dance. Like ye. No. <laughs> the I have no idea. Now I can afford right. a bigger candle. Ooh, do, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we didn't miss the trash. Uh, I took it down, so it's all good. <coughs> um, are you almost getting it off soon? I thought you could go get your hair cut today. Oh. Yep. All right. All right. All right, well, that was a nice little interview. Or, inter I'm sorry, intermission. Sorry, guys. Stuff together. Uh, Vincent going 100%. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's just look at everybody. Let's just look at everybody. Yeah, I kind of missed a bit of the uh, a bit of the game here. <coughs> Monty's on a lose streak. Vince is on a win streak. I see that. Vincent's team, though. This, this right here, okay, this is it. This is what I'm talking about. Look at his team. Look at his team. Is this really that insane? No, it's not. It's not that insane. But the fact that he has a two-star swordman me makes it insane. Monty open forded. Did he really? Well, I don't blame him in the warrior beast strategy. And he's, uh, well, that's all it takes. Yeah, fortune teller is open forwarding. And he's open forwarding with only 46 HP still. Took eight there. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, looks like he's going to go open forward into feathered, actually. And that's not a bad thing to do. Um, pretty interested to see how he comes back from that. But that's the whole point of how fortune teller should be used if you're trying to lose streak is open forward into it. Uh, he also got a Shadow Crawler and a Taboo Witcher, which is, I'm guessing, yeah, he's going to pick up both of them because, again, he's loose streaking into Feathered. And he's going to go all in here, possibly, 
at round 13. So we got, yeah, he's going all in at round, at round 13. Maybe not all in, but he's taking most of his, uh, most of his gold here. So he has five out of six feathered. Uh, put in the beast. Okay, good. Good. And then he still has his fortune teller. Just to make sure that he doesn't lose too much HP still. Because he might still lose this. Um, I would also imagine that he's going to pick up a unicorn here. And make some gold from it. Or sell both of these if he wins. So, could go either way there. I need to get the sub. Okay, who was the one that, that subbed? Wild Mensch. Okay, Wild Mensch, can you talk in the chat again? Thank you, Jake. I appreciate that. Okay, so he actually sold his... Um, he actually sold his... Shadowcrawler. Interesting. Shadowcrawler in a feathered build, though, is pretty important. So he might be waiting till round 15 then to go all in. So I'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. But let's take a look at Wonton. We haven't checked out uh, what he's doing. He's going gods, but not really, with uh, Beast Warrior, looks like. Beast Warrior Assassin, of course. And he's up against Tothpick, who's running full Glacier, which can be done a lot easier now, of course, with uh, the addition of Fortune Teller. But with Berserker, um, it's kind of taking that place. So he's got a, he's got a two-star Shadowcrawler as well, with the Frantic Mask, which is actually pretty... Pretty great for him. Uh, and then Vincent actually now losing to Azu, which I was just about to check on Azu to see what he's running. And Azu's going with a, a Hunter build this game with Hunter Warrior Beast. Now, a lot of people say that Hunters suck this this game or like this, uh, this meta right now. But I think the key is to go Warrior Frontline with Hunter Backline. Uh, Dwarf Sniper, I think, would be better in the corner, though, of course, but this is Wolfpack, so things are going to change a little bit here. Uh, Wild Mensch, congratulations on your sub, and thanks for being active and stuff. Also, Madza, thanks for, thanks for gifting a sub to Thob Best one And Tothpick is pretty much the only one that's all in right now. You guys have like macros on that sub sub button, don't you? That's a gifted sub though, so it doesn't doesn't actually count. By the way, yeah, doggo in the chat. In the chat yeah. All right, I want to take a look at Monty and see how he comes back from this. So yeah, Warpwood Sage. Let's see what he does. He's still loose streaking, but I wonder if he's gonna... Another egg. Nature knows what to do. I've heard that there's a place where witchers are blind. Shiny assassin, yeah. Hmm. Okay, he's up against Tothpick. Still doesn't have six feather though. Probably will end up saving this strange egg for the razor claw, I would assume. But yeah, Monty. Monty's gotta go all in here. I think next round. This is why I'm kind of like interested to see what he does, and I'm kind of sticking on him right now. Because he's got 50 gold, 16 HP. And he's got a long way to go. Whispers here, three star. He leveled. Mode of sand, another razor claw, three star. Uh, Wind Ranger. Alright, so he went all in. At eight. Now he's got three hunters, but still only five feathered. And he's got one star Wind Ranger and one star Shining Archer. 
But his frontline is really tanky. He just needs one more Warport Sage and uh, one more one more Shining Archer. But now he's he's uh, he's lost his loose streak, so his economy is going to be hurting. Another Shining Assassin. That would give him. That would give him six feathered. I would almost. Let my enemies tremble at the sight okay. of my shadow. Well, okay. So, so he decided that he was gonna give up the three star unicorn. Bought the shining assassin. Got six feathered. And gave up beast to keep hunter though. Uh, and he's gonna do okay against Vincent here. Siren just has one mana item on it. All right, so he he beat the number one person in the lobby, who's basically going 100% the entire game for the most part, with the exception of one, one game. So he can probably relax a little bit this round now. I wonder if he's gonna relax. Probably, I would imagine that he would. All right, so Monty looks like he's stabilized for the most part. Eclipse now is going three assassins and four feathered. And another assassin here. And now he's up against Vincent. See how Eclipse does here. He's got a two-star Wind Ranger, which should do quite a bit of damage, and was able to nuke out the werewolf before it got its skill off. And it's gonna get another alt here, completely untouched the entire time. So that's that's great for um, Eclipse. But let's take a look at Wanton. He's going super saiyan right now with six assassins, three feathered, two beast. Uh, a lot of people ask, is this a better build than say? God's assassins, and I would say currently yes, but you would obviously switch out the werewolf for razor claw um, Also, he's pretty much all in as well right now at round 20, but we still have Vincent with 65 gold uh, We have Azu with 27, Jerome fully economized as well, Monty's down at 11 and Probably looking to econ back up a little bit but based on the other people in the in the game right now, I think this three-star Razor Claw is gonna it's gonna carry him for a while. And same thing with the with the Whispers here. Once he gets the three-star Warford Sage, he's he's insane. Uh, Tothpick actually went down last round to 26 HP, and he's going with a Spirit Glacier build which is a little interesting as well and doesn't have a whole lot of economy adds in agrisis or i'm sorry adds in the uh warlock bonus with the addition of soul reaper but still this team looks it, it just looks maybe a little soft but spirits right now are really good against warriors so could potentially could potentially go up I like how it shows you though that against Monty, he's beat him twice and lost zero times against Monty. Uh, but I think he's gonna lose this time. Yeah. So he loses now. Now he's two and one against Monty. And then Ozu lost to Eclipse pretty quickly. Toothpick taking massive damage here, dropping down to seven HP with not a whole lot he can do with only 10 gold left. 10 gold. He's gonna roll it down Don't here. I got you. Picks up a two star uh, Soul Reaper. Or is it just me? Sorry. And he's actually sitting on a three star defector that he still can't find. And, and a one star Frost Knight. So he picked up a three star defector. Which we, uh, we saw last time that he had a lot of three star units. Uh, which is how he actually won, but he's up against Wonton right now, and I just don't think he's gonna hold up. 
Don't think he's gonna hold up. They're gonna kill his Wormy Boy. That's like a majority of his damage. And this might be it for Toth pick. But he's the three star defector is doing some work. And so is Okay, so is his Berserker. Alright, so Soul Reaper actually being one of the highest damaging units for him as well. So Alright, Drone actually dropped down to six HP now as well. If I wasn't streaming, what career do you think you'd be doing? Um before this I was in I was in insurance. Before that, I was a semi-professional hockey player. And then before... Now, after streaming, if I were to stream. If I were to not stream. It would be... I'd probably do, like, video editing, honestly. I find that really, uh, really interesting. Okay, I think he's sitting on this Ghost Prophet, so that way he can buy it and add in four Warlocks here. Full Warlock with... Unfortunately, not full Goblin Mech, but... He is against Eclipse here. Now we actually have five people with less than 20 HP right now. And Azu dropping down below 10. We have Eclipse, Toothpick is out now at seventh. But we have Jerome, Azu, Monty, and Eclipse now down at four HP. So we have Wonton and Vincent kind of duking it out at the top for the most part. And then we have Monty coming back now with the loose streak strat. And then Azu now just kind of going directly down. Unfortunately, only have having four out of six hunters and not the greatest front line that he can possibly find. So this is, this is, yes, this is a frenzy if I've ever seen one. This is a frenzy if I've ever seen one. We have a bunch of players now uh, gasping for air, for lack of a better word. We have Monty now up against the number one fully wind streaking wonton. And he's just running through his back line right now pretty easily, but it's the front line that should be able to kind of hold him together for a bit. Uh, I think he's going to be okay. Azu dropping down now at 6th. Eclipse on his last leg as well. Eclipse now losing. Jerome losing. Uh, everybody going out now at round 24. And Monty able to hold on and beat Wonton. So the top three, just like that, at round 24, as quick as the game started, the game pretty much has already ended. That's how insanely fast this meta is right now, where you can go from everybody in to everybody out. And it's just a matter of like seconds that can be either fourth or seventh, or even third or seventh, right? So it's it's pretty insane, honestly. I I personally, you know, it's exciting, but I personally don't like the meta right now. Uh, Monty can kind of relax here on the on the creep rounds. Vincent's kind of in that that middle ground where he's not streaking, he's not winning, he's not losing, he's not streaking at all, right? Wonton is win streaking, and with an assassin build that that's pretty important. But he's also f pretty much all in. Everybody's kind of around the same eco economy. Now, he does pick up a three-star Razor Claw, so that's going to be pretty monk S for Monty if he does get put up against him again. Because the Razor Claw is going to be rough. But Feathered is going to... Feathered is going to counter Vincent for sure. So Vincent, I think, is in the worst spot out of all of them. And then... Assassins kind of counter Feathered as best as you can but I don't think this backline of assassins is really the, the best. Once he gets a three-star shadow crawler, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much game over. Uh Bombasterio, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that. And yeah, so Monty up against Wonton right now. Not gonna lose here, I don't think. 3 HP. So, I think Wonton, as long as he gets the procs and crits, it's kind of RNG now from this point. And that's kind of why I, I prefer not loose streaking, is because you get yourself down into this position where, you know, RNG does happen. And if you're playing Feathered, it definitely, definitely happens a lot, right? Where you're just kind of relying on misses. And one round could mean you just die, right? But at least he's in third place. He, he um, 
solidified himself with $100. Picked up a three-star Tabu Witcher as well. Uh, so that's insane. TMK gets the free gifted sub as well, by the way. Let me do that here. Monty's going to be just fine against Vincent, though. I don't think he's going to have a problem with, with the Warriors here. Vincent should be okay against Wonton. So it's a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors right here, which is unfortunate for, for Monty, because he's got he's the one with the least amount of HP. So honestly, once Monty gets knocked out by Wonton, if that happens, then Vincent should be able to finish things off against Wonton, technically. Unless Wonton gets his three-star Shadow Crawler, then that could pretty much, you know, it could pretty much seal the deal. Wonton also losing to Monty there because of lack of crits or whatever else might have happened or m missing a couple uh, of times and stuff. Lost his win streak as well. Right, exactly, exactly. So he pretty much just needs Shining Assassin and Lord of Sand and then two more of these. If he can get those at least He'll be in a little bit better shape. Let's take a look at Monty going up against Wonton this round. Because again, it's just it just has a matter to do with how many misses you get. Also the Tabu Witcher placement. Um, yeah, so I think I think Monty's gonna be fine here. He did okay. Didn't really get crit from the um, Didn't get crit at all from the uh, the Shadow Crawler. And then Vincent now losing to Vincent losing to Monty as well. So Vincent will probably lose to Monty every single time, actually. Until he gets three star swordman, which is actually nice against Feathered, because a lot of the damage is based on the spin, which doesn't miss. And Wonton is sitting on a Shadow Crawler and a Lord of Sand. So that's uh, that's a really good roll for him. Okay, yeah. See, he didn't he didn't crit and kill the Wind Ranger before it got off. So I think Monty actually might beat Wonton here, or Wonton might lose to Monty, I guess. And then Monty will beat Vincent. Yeah, pretty much every time. And Vincent's gonna lose to Wonton. So like I said, I think Vincent's in the worst position. Wonton lost to Monty pretty bad. I'll make them sad. You can't get just caught. looking for that. No witnesses. Just looking for the egg. And he's got a couple rounds to get it here. Although Monty can actually, you know, spawn things with Whisper Seer, spawn things with Razor Claw, which could take quite a bit of HP from people pretty quickly, uh, especially Vincent. So Monty actually might be able to might be able to outlast Vincent, potentially, and depending on the RNG against Wonton, Monty could potentially win this. Honestly, honestly, any of them could potentially win this, but I think Vincent's in the worst spot still. I think he's in the worst spot still. Although he's one egg away from, uh, one swordman away from three-star swordman. Okay, so he just egged the Siren. He's going to put in Hunter bonus, I would assume. So that way he can uh, counteract the Feathered a little bit better. Right, so Feathered gives 45% chance of evasion. And with Hunter now, uh, well, with Vincent adding in Hunter, which is pretty smart, has a 35% chance to pierce through. So most of his Hunters are going to be are going to be just fine. Like, they're not going to miss, right? And so if they can get their skills off, they might be okay. But I don't think... I don't think that's the case. Monty is also running through Wonton right now as well. Monty's got a really, really strong team right now. Okay, let's take a look at the items, right? I'm gonna take a look at the items. Refresher Orb, Siren. Pressure Orb Siren, 
And that's about it. Like nothing else that's too crazy. But Refresher Orb Siren is pretty insane. No items there. Couple items splashed around. Mealstorm on Dwarf Sniper. And ooh, a Scythe. A Scythe of Vice on Siren here. Which regeneration while dealing damage and being attacked receive turns a random enemy to a penguin. Which is the Soul Breaker this time, which isn't the greatest for for him. And so Vincent actually gave up on the three star swordman as well right now. But he's gonna take even more damage now from Wonton. He's literally losing every well. single round. And Monty's winning every single round. So, like I said, Monty is probably going to beat Vincent right here. Because Vincent's, Vincent's third place. Vincent's third place right now. There's not much that he can do. And he's up against Monty, which is a pretty direct counter to, to Hunters. And then it's just going to come down to Wonton or Monty. But Wonton got a three-star... Shadow Crawler here. Wonton could actually win it right here as well. If he beats Monty. But that, this Siren, this Siren is winning him the game. The Siren is definitely winning him the game. Vincent against Monty. Doing his best. Doing his absolute best, but I think this is gonna be it for. Yeah, that's it for Vincent. Vincent's out at third. Monty on a win streak with three HP and a dream. Wonton. Wonton's still looking for his uh, shiny assassin. Has an egg in the shop that he can just put on it, which, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't know why you wouldn't. My creed is okay. to assassinate. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. He needs to kill the uh, the siren before it gets off. And ooh, shadow crawler is not facing him, so not facing the siren is good. So Wonton did okay. And uh. Ooh, Shadow Colors. Yeah, Shadow Colors won. Okay. Wonton is going to be the winner of Friday Frenzy. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Wonton. You just won $300 or 4.75 million. Four, wait, 4.25 million IDR. Congratulations, sir. Also, we have, uh, we have Monty taking second place with $200. And Vincent taking third place for a hundred dollars. That's uh, two weeks in a row. Vincent actually got third place now. Uh, Monty walking away with some money too. So, congratulations though, all three of you guys. Thank you guys all for participating. Not just the top three, but everybody combined. Also, Eclipse last month's or last week's winner took fourth, just off the podium, as well. But uh, such a good game, guys. Congratulations all around. Thank you so much for sponsoring the tournament uh for google thank you to google for sponsoring the tournament and thank you guys all for watching and being here i really appreciate it monty streams on twitch by the way twitch.tv slash mmonty and then vincent also streams on twitch twitch.tv slash v-i-i-i-n-c-e and make sure you guys follow them as well if you guys are watching on youtube and aside from that guys Thank you so much for watching. My wife came home early from work today, so I'm going to end stream here. Go hang out with her for the rest of the day. And I will be back on tomorrow, early 7 a.m. Eastern time. And if I don't see you guys, have a great weekend, though. But I will be right here tomorrow, same time, same place, same time, as well for next week. But uh, as always, stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.